okay so good evening guys again no this would be a uh, tutorial on how you answer or this is just a guide for your uh, final laboratory exam or uh, face to face on june 1 or on june 3 no so the final lab exam covers the uh, basic configuration of switches uh VLAN segmentation and a little bit of port security. Now those these topics were all covered by the uh, CCNA version seven SRWE. No, so we have here now. <clears throat> so you can see there is a uh, a touch of VLSM. No, we have a given network address here, and then there's a uh, uh, there are specific assigned IP addresses for the computers you know, in our network and even the VLAN assignments for each computers. Again, this is just an example. You know? So this network address and the IP address assignments uh, will change uh, during the final exam. So you need to be careful. So this is just a guide. Now, initially, if I will be the one who will answer this uh, activity no uh, I will open Microsoft Excel so that I can create a guide for my uh, VLSM <clears throat> so I will uh, enter here for example as my guide for VLAN IDs which we have here VLAN 10 20 and 30 and then for the uh, network address again, by default the given network address will be assigned to the network which requires you know, the biggest you no know, number of uh, uh, hosts you know, or requirement so let's have here for example um, uh, required you no know, which is 255 64 and 30 and then for the <coughs> for the uh, size which is the usable no we all know that the 256 address no it only has 254 usable addresses because the network address and the broadcast address no we cannot use them or assign them to our end devices now we need to uh, adjust our vlsm so from 255 or 256 we're going to have 512 in which the size of the usable addresses is only 510 and then this one is 64 same scenario with the uh, 62 no or uh, the uh, or since it's uh, the 64 no or dash or slash 20 <coughs> uh, the slash 25 or or the slash 25 no which actually accommodates 226 no IP addresses so yun yung gagamitin natin and then lastly for the 30 so kasha na yung slash 27 dyan no which can accommodate a total of 30 IP addresses now for the uh, network address again again by default the given would be assigned no on our uh, network here I guess this is 172 no, nagkamali yata ako dun sa in-input. Let's just uh, use 172. I will just uh, change this one later on. And then, the next network address now, since we have here uh, 512, no? it would be 172.16.2.0. Okay. So basically, we don't need to elaborate this one because you already uh, we already answered this one no? or study this one during your Cisco one or CCNA one. Okay. So next, <coughs> we have here the uh, IP or the network address for the last VLAN ID, which is 172.16.2. No, and we have here the one two eight. Because we only have here you know, a maximum of 126. Then the broadcast address of this one is 127. Then the next IP address will be assigned as the network address for the next network. Now, we, it's very important we, that we identify the range 
no, from the first usable ID uh, IP address up to the last usable. So here, since we have the network address 172.16.0.0, now basically our uh, first usable IP is that 0 .1. And then the range is 172.16.1.254. So maybe you're asking or wondering, sir, where is 1.255? Again, that would be the broadcast address for that network. And then the next address, which is 2.0, would be the network address for the next network. So initially now, we have your 116.0 or one, which is the first usable IP address. And then the range is we have a maximum of 126. So that's uh, 2.126. Right? The next is 172.16.2.129. Uh, and then the last usable is 172.16.2.158. So if you're going to count them, these are 30 IP addresses, 126 IP addresses, and 510 IP addresses. And it's very important that we identify the prefix you know, of this network. So this would be slash 23. <clears throat> slash 23, then this is slash 25, then this is uh, slash 27. So next is the subnet mass, you know, or subnet mass. Why this is 255.255.254.0. .255 then this would be 255.255.255.128 and lastly 255.255.224 okay so we're done no with the uh, basic vlsm for our network now we will proceed with the uh, assignment of the ip addresses for our devices okay so in the our instruction here it says that you need to assign the 150th uh, IP address to our PC1 now based on the network or VLAN where the uh, IP address or where the PC is located and then for PC2 we need to assign the 10th you know, usable address and then for uh, PC3 the 15th and then for the PC4 PC4 the 50th uh, IP address or usable IP address again the term usable so it means you are not allowed to count broadcast address and the network address no for this one and then next is the uh, 25th IP address for our or usable IP address for our uh, <clears throat> for our PC5 and then PC6 the 30th usable address based on the bill of VLSM though that you've uh, computed here so let's do the uh, addressing table so that it's it's easy for us you not know, to to enter this information later on our packet tracer you no know, or on our topology so since bpc1 is located on vlan 10 okay then i will now assign 150th from so vlan 10 here so you need to get the 150th address on this range so that would be 172.16.0.150. And then you just need to follow the uh, subnet map. Zero. So let me just copy that one. Then for PC2, which is located on VLAN 20, then the 10th is on this VLAN. So it means we're going to assign it the address 172.16.2.10 okay so based on this address 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then the subnet mass is this one then for pc3 which is located on vt it means we're going to check the 15th usable address based on this range ip range <clears throat> okay so you're going to count from 1 to 9 you go, you're going to add 14 no, on your counting. So that would be 143. And then the subnet mass is this one. And then for PC4, PC5, and PC6, which again uh, assigned to the uh, given VLAN, uh, VLAN. 
So we're going now to assign the IP addresses again based on the requirement no on our instruction on the instruction. So the 50th IP address or usable IP address on this network. So that would be 172.16.2 or that zero that fifty. And then the subnet mask is this one. So let me just copy this three subnet here. <clears throat> and then for PC5, I'm going to uh, get the 25th no, usable IP address on this network. So you're going to count no, two. So that would be 25. So 172.16.2.25. Okay, let me just change this one. 143. Then lastly, the last usable address, which is the 30th usable address on this network is 172.16.2.158. So ito yun. Now, because if you're going to count from 129 to 158, this is the number or the 30th usable address on our network. <clears throat> so basically, we're done with the uh, with the VLSM no? and assigning the IP addresses uh, on our devices. So now, now let's move to our topology here. Okay. So based on the topology, as you can see, we have uh, the uh, switches. We have three switches. We have six computers. No, and basically each computer we assigned already. No, our IP addresses. And if you're going to look on your completion rate. It's so far, no, zero percentage. So let's try uh, assigning first the IP addresses that we uh, computed no, earlier based on our uh, BLSM here. Okay, let me zoom it in para mas makikita nyo on your screen. <clears throat> Ayan. So now I'm over in PC1. Ito siya. And I'm going to type the IP address assigned to PC1 based on the requirement. And based on the VLSM that we computed, okay, and then 255.255.254.0. So if you're going to close that and look our completion rate, we have now 1% <laughs> so far. No, dahil maraming rin required, uh, 1% pa lang. No, and then next for PC2, let me go to Excel again. Then, yeah, no. So this is the advantage when you, uh, answer no the the activity or the vlsm in excel or if you want to you can use your pen and paper during the exam so we have now basically two percent so let's uh, include or input as well our uh, ip address uh, no ip information of uh, pc3 which is 172.16.2.143 and then 255.255.255.224. And so let me, ayan, nakita nyo, no, 2%. So sir, may mali po ata, no, why PC3, no, uh, hindi siya na-score. So probably when you compute the total, uh, total points of that, no, it's only 2% pa lang. So tingnan natin, let's just continue the activity here. <clears throat> so let's include um, PC number 4, 172.16.0.50, Then for PC number 5, we have uh, here 172.16.2.25, Then lastly for PC number 6. We have now okay, 172.16.2.158.255.224. Again, if if uh, your score no does not increment no uh, <clears throat> and but you think no that what you're doing is right. Okay, don't get stuck on the on that uh, number no or that activity or that part of the of the uh, packet tracer no. You just need to continue and then you just need to go back. No, pagtapos ka na sa lahat na required, uh, doon ka na lang bumalik ulit. 
So by the way, I forgot to include the instruction here, but during your final exam, expect that that those instructions now will be included. Okay, so I'm done, no? Uh, configuring the computers. Now this time we're going to configure our switches. So initially the computer or PC number three is connected, no? Or it's connected to our Lucinda switch via console cable. So meaning, no, because you cannot use the CLI tab, no, nilak ko yung feature na yun. So you're going to press PC3 and then go for terminal and then just click OK. So I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, no, the, the, the display or the text is not that visible on your end. So allow me to, to change first the, uh, the, uh, or to change the uh, font. <clears throat> no, for our CLI tab. Okay. Uh, get, I guess, 18 will do. Let's check. Okay. Ayan. So, ayan. Pwede na, no? 18. Okay. So, I do hope that this one is uh, very uh, visible, no? On your end. So, basically, we are in PC3. And we access which or the in the switch through console keyboard and as you can see on our prompt it says here switch it means you are now inside uh, our uh, switch you no know, device so let's try typing enable then config t so let's go to our instruction here it says that we need to configure the following such as the host name the uh, <coughs> uh, message of the day you no know, we need to encrypt our password and then console uh, clients, the SSH, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to configure this one you know, uh, from the basic switch configuration going to the port security. You know. I will just follow the instruction here. So I will now type in the host username, which is, uh, I mean, Lucinda. Okay, and then next, the banner MMOTD, which is <clears throat> the, the, the instruction here that you need to encode or input first the first character no, or the indicator. No, any, any special character will do for as long as this character will not uh, uh, include no, or display doon sa string na linalagay nyo. For example, you're trying to type welcome no, to CCS. So, this one will only save welcome. No, yan yung ruling dito sa packet tracer. Again, I don't need to elaborate this one because this was already uh, discussed to you during your Cisco one. No? So, welcome to CCS. And then, I will now encode uh, set or the, sorry, sorry, secret or enable secret which is CCNA. And then I will go to line console zero, and it says here that we need to include password for our line console, which is final. <clears> okay, <throat> then let me exit and go back to service password encryption, not encrypt to encrypt all the plain text passwords. Next, it says here that we need to configure all intermediary devices, so you mga switch natin to accept SSH connections. So, we'll need to type in IP domain name first, which is ccs.com as provided on our instruction. And then, we need to apply no, yung ating uh, RSA keys. So, we need to type crypto key, generate RSA, and then the required bits to be used is 1024. And then, you need to create a username for your administrator. And then, with the secret password, Kelios. <coughs> And lastly, you need to go to line VTY, you know, 0 to 15, because we have uh, 15 line VTY. And then the password is TSU. And then we need to log in that and change the transport input from Telnet to SSH. So we have now 21%, you know, basically, from this one. So next, we need to declare the VLAN for uh, uh, VLAN 10 first. Then the name is main. Then another VLAN 20, which is the name is CCS. 
and then VLAN 30 which is name Lucinda <coughs> next we need to uh, to assign no? or change the mode of our switch or the ports no? from to switch port mode access so to do that interface okay F011 so sir uh, why is it F011 so it says here the VLAN, VLAN 1 no it is connected with the Cinda F011 you just need to check our port here no kung saan sila naka up so another way is to go to options preferences then always show port uh, label then you can see here that PC1 is connected to switch or the Cinda switch through port 11 so ayan no so let me go back here <clears throat> ayan balik tayo dito ayan so let's uh, where's the instruction okay ayan nandito na tayo no so we are uh, we are already no inside the interface uh, configuration natin uh, you can check that on the prompt it means config if it means you're going to configure the interface and the next is uh, switch port mode access so you're going to change its mode not to access and then switch port access VLAN 10 <coughs> because we're going to assign VLAN 10 to PC1 no and then exit interface F 012 so switch port mode uh, access again switch port access VLAN 20 then exit interface F013 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 ayan <clears throat> hey. so after that tapos na tayo doon. Uh, that's the instruction, no? Missing dito. Dadagdag ko na lang mamaya. No, I forgot to add it before I start the recording. No? Then exit. So, we're going now to apply, you know, some port security on our on our switch devices. So, first, sabi niya, disable all unused ports. So, you can go back to our topology here. And then, tignan mo lahat ng ports na hindi umanda. Basically, you have three computers here. At uh, kinonfigure mo na si 11, 12, 13. So, it means uh, port 1 to 10 and for, uh, port 14 to 24 are not being used. And nagkikita nyo, nakadown. So, you're going to disable all those ports. And then, on our gigabit port, we have one port use which is G01. No connected to our main switch. And G02 is not used uh, uh, or is not being used. So, we're going to disable that as well. So, to do that, no, no, mabilis, you can just simply again go to our switch. And then, ayan, ang sabi dito, no, disable daw natin lahat ng ports. So, interface, you can just simply use the interface range, no, para minsan, from F01 to 10. Kasi yung 11, di kasali. Kama, F0, uh, 14 to 24. Kama, G02. Yan. So, ito yung mga hindi ginagamit doon sa ating Lucinda switch. So, ang sabi dito, you need to disable them. How to disable ports? Ayan, makikita nyo, no? That you're trying to configure a range of uh, interface. Ayan. Ito yung difference na kanina. Na single interface at yung may range. And then, you just need to type in shutdown. <coughs> ayan. So, ayan. Naka-off sila sabay-sabay minsanan. Para hindi ulit-ulit yung pag-encode ng command. And then, you need to access the command line for Lucinda and CCS no, to enable port security. So, to do that, uh, exit muna tayo. So, I will uh, again type in range. Lalagyan natin ng port security yung 11 at 13. Kasi ito yung mga ginagamit. So, we need to apply switch port security and then switch port uh, security maximum, no, 1. 
sabi dito, only one, no, yung pwedeng maka-access. And then, you need to secure, no, the ports so that the MAC address of the device is dynamically learned. So, paano gawin yun? So, you can just simply type switch port, security, MAC address, then you need to apply sticky. Then, lastly, no, yung violation, no, for the ports, so you just simply type in switch port, security, violation, restrict. <clears throat> Yan. So, kagaya ng mga activity natin. So, we're done configuring the Lucinda switch. So, ayan, we have 38% so far. Now, I'm going to move yung console cable going to the main. Ayan, para hindi tayo nagkikrate ng device. Bawal kasi mag-create ng device. Ayan. So, you just, uh, you're all only allowed to move the console cable from one uh, location or one device to another. Again, let's go to the uh, ENA config T host name this is main and then i'll go to vlan straight to the vlan main vlan 20 name ccs so ulit ulit na lang yan no? once you're done configuring the lucinda or the ccs uh switch madali na lang para sa inyo yung mga ibang devices then exit <clears throat> so i'm going to type in set banner or sorry banner motd welcome to CCS. Ayan. Tapos, secret or enable secret CCNA. Then, I'll go to line console 0. Then, type in password final. So, exit ko lang. Then, service password encryption. Then, you need to apply again. Balik tayo dito. So, configure all dito. No? IP domain. Ayan. Although, pwede na magkabali baliktad. Kanina, inuna natin si IP domain. So, you can always no, crypto key generate RSA. Pwede naman magkabalik ta dyan. Uh, ayan, no? so kailangan, kailangan yung IP domain mo na. Sorry, IP domain, name, uh, ccs.com, and then the crypto key generate RSA 1024. And then I'll create a username for the administrator. Be careful with the expelling. And then, secret, which is Kelios. And then, lastly, line VTY 0 to 15. Again, password TSU. Tapos, login. And then, transport input SSH. No. And exit natin. So, balik tayo dun sa... Uh, tapos na tayo sa main, no? There's no, there are no computers connected with our main switch. So, hindi mo kailangan maglagay ng switch port mode access. No, hindi mo rin na, hindi rin natin kailangan mag, mag port security. <clears throat> now, if you're going to check the topology, there are only two ports, no, being used in our main switch, which is G01 and G02. So, meaning, lahat ng mga fast Ethernet ports or uh, hindi ginagamit. So, we can disable them, no? Lahat. So, interface F01 to 24. Oops, I forgot the range keyword. Ayan. Then, just type in shutdown. So, meron na ako ngayon, 66%. No? Tapos na, halos, yung ating activity. So, let me now move, no? The console port. I'll move ko the console port. Ayan, ayaw niya ma-move. So, let's remove the ports. So, si CCS, G0 to yung gamit niya, no? Ayan. Let's go back to terminal. Ayan. So, pwede nyo i-apply yung ginawa nyo kanina kay Lucinda, no? If you're typing the the text in a notepad, so, pwede nyo lang i-copy-paste. No? Pero, mag-ingat din kayo minsan. Yung mga mali din doon. So, let's go. Ena, config T. Then, follow again the steps or the uh, instruction here. Hostname, CCS. And then, banner, MOTD. Okay, welcome to CCS. And then, enable secret, CCNA. Tapos, line console, zero. Password, final. Then, service password, encryption. <coughs> Then, VLAN 10. Then, the name is main. 
villain 20 name is CCS villain 30 the name is Nasinda then next let's configure again the IP domain so exit muna tayo IP domain name ccs.com okay crypto key generate RSA 1024 the next is username again for the administrator secret Kelios the next you have the line VTY 0 to 15 password TSU login and then transport SSH or input SSH <clears throat> So, you already have 84%. No? Malaki na. Pasado na yung final exam nyo. Nandito pa lang. So, let's make it 100. Okay? So, interface. Again, assign natin yung mga switch part mode access. Per ports. So, uh, let's make it now. The switch port mode access. Then, switch port access VLAN 10. Then, exit. So, pwede kang hindi mag-exit. Diretso na na F012 mo nun. Pero para, kung hindi kayo sanay, pwede naman mag-exit ka muna. VLAN 20. Ayan. So, interface. F013. No? Switch port mode, access. Then, switch port, access. VLAN 30. Okay? So, next is, we need to again, no, uh, turn off or shut down the ports no, na hindi ginagamit so 014 then G01 shut down Ayan, now, meron tayo 94% ay konting konti na lang ma, uh, matatapos na natin no, yung ating uh, activity so next Let's apply the port security interface of F or range F011 to 13. And then let's apply the same thing, switch port, port security, so that we can enable the port security here. Then switch port, port security maximum one. And then switch port, port security MAC address, which again is sticky. Then lastly, switch port. More, uh, port security the violation which is restrict <clears throat> so with that no na 100% natin yung ating lab exam again no this is just an example the IP address will be a change during the time of the final exam no guide lang to no and again it took me around 33 minutes tapos din i-discuss pa no yung buong uh, final lab exam so don't worry during the final lab exam uh, I guess one and a half or two hours naman yung time na allotted para sa inyo no? so good luck guys and again ingat no see you on June 1 or June 3 thank you thank you